Yo, yo, what's up, science fam? Welcome back to What If Science, the only place where we ask the wildest questions and back. I'm up with some real nature fuel brain burners. Now, hey, real talk if you ain't curious, if science bores you, or if your brain checked out after biology class, do yourself a favor, don't watch this video. But if you've ever been in the ocean and thought, yo, what would happen if a whale just swallowed me whole? Then grab a life vest because this one's going to get wild. And if you're into this kind of deep, weird, fact-packed storytelling, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, this ain't your average ocean facts video. Today's big one. What if you were actually swallowed by a whale? Not in a cartoon, not in a Bible story, for real. All right, picture this. You're swimming out in open water. Crystal clear ocean, blue skies, your GoPro's rolling. Life is good. Then suddenly, the water shifts. You feel the pull. And out of the deep, a shadow the size of a school bus rises right under you. Boom. Darkness. You've just been swallowed by a whale. Now before you panic, yes, this has happened. And no, it's not going to be like Pinocchio. No campfires inside, no singing fish. This is going to get a whole lot weirder. If it's a sperm whale, you're in trouble. They've got teeth, lots of them. You'll get dragged through jaws the size of traffic cones and tossed into a throat that leads straight into a stomach filled with digestive acid. Inside, it's pitch black. The temp? Hot, around 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And the walls? They're contracting like you're inside a muscle smoothie blender. Now, if it's a humpback or blue whale good news, no teeth. Bad news? You're still trapped inside a throat made for krill, not humans. Either way, you've got two major problems. You can't breathe. You've only got seconds to figure something out before you pass out. And if you make it to the stomach, let's just say, the acid wins. Every. Single. Time. But hold up, there is one tiny sliver of hope. In 2021, a lobster diver off Cape Cod got caught in a humpback's mouth and lived. The whale realized, yo, this ain't food, and spat him back out. So yeah, it's possible. But you'd have to be unbelievably lucky. Right angle. Right species. Right timing. And a whale with good manners. Otherwise, you're stuck in the dark, becoming a footnote in marine biology. So no, you're not chilling in some giant ribcage waiting for rescue. You're tumbling, choking, dissolving, and wishing you had picked a different vacation spot. Nature doesn't care if you're an influencer. To the whale? You're just a weird bubble of meat that showed up during lunch. If you don't suffocate, you dissolve. That's the deal. So what's the takeaway? Respect the ocean. Respect the giants. They're not hunting you, but if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, you're just another oops in the ecosystem. And if you still think you could survive it, you better have a rebreather, a flashlight, and a whale with second thoughts. And hey, if you thought getting swallowed by a whale was intense, Wait till you see what happens when we try living on a whole different planet. Go check out one of my other videos. Mars is the new place to stay. What if documentary? It's all about surviving on the red planet with recycled air, pressure domes, space workouts, and popcorn grown in Martian dirt. If that doesn't mess with your mind, nothing will. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Would you rather live inside a whale or on Mars? Hit like hit subscribe, and keep asking those crazy what-ifs. This is What If Science and we're just getting started.